All these customs are nice, but the real reason we celebrate Christmas is one child who was born in an obscure village, the child of a peasant woman. He grew up in another village where he worked as a carpenter until he was 30. For three years, he was an itinerant preacher. He never wrote a book, never held an office. He never had a family or owned a home. He didn't go to college. He never visited a big city. He never even traveled 200 miles from the place he was born. He did none of the things that accompany greatness. He had no credentials except himself. He was only 33 years old when the tide of public opinion turned against him. His friends ran away. One betrayed him. One of them even denied him three times. He was turned over to his enemies and went through the mockery of a trial. He was nailed to a cross between two thieves, and while he was dying, his executioners gambled for his garments, the only property he had on earth. When he was dead, he was laid in a borrowed grave through the pity of a friend. 1,900 years have come and gone, and today he is the central figure in the human race. All the armies that ever marched, all the navies that ever sailed, all the parliaments that ever sat, and all the kings that ever reigned put together have never affected the life of man on earth so much as that one solitary life. And so we celebrate that man's birthday with reverence.